Joined now by Nick Petrovich from the Toledo Blade. And Nick, uh, what was it, eight days ago, you were about eight feet away from Urban Meyer where he patently denied ever knowing anything about this 2015 incident. Now at least it certainly knows. It looks like Shelly Meyer knew quite a bit about it. And if Shelly knew, how could Urban not know? Yeah, there's two scenarios here, and I don't think either one of them is particularly good for him or for Ohio State. The first is that this all happened right underneath his nose, and he didn't know. The second is that he had 24 hours to get his story straight before Big Ten Media Days and completely lied about it and now is going to face the consequences for it. So either one of those is not preferable for him or for Ohio State. And if in the likely, unlikely event that he did not know about this, um, there had been chatter about this for years. This is not a new thing. This is not a surprise. Um, while it hadn't been pinned down until recently, I can tell you this did not come as a surprise to a lot of people in that building. Jim Tressel's downfall ultimately was loyalty. Urban Meyer's downfall at Ohio State could very well be loyalty as well. Loyalty to Earl Bruce because of the grandson, Zach Smith. Yeah, and the irony of all of this is that wide receiver was probably the weakest position group Ohio State has had. I don't think Zach Smith is a particularly good football coach. And if this is going to be the end of the Urban Meyer era at Ohio State, can you believe it was for Zach Smith of all people? It's just it's stunning to believe that it was for this and for this. Moving on, Ryan Day, the interim head coach, and, and that's an interesting decision into it itself when you've got Kevin Wilson on staff, a former head coach for Indiana, Greg Schiano on staff, former head coach at Rutgers, as well as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, yet they go with Ryan Day as the interim head coach. Yeah, Ryan Day is certainly an interesting mind. He's had um, quite a bit of interest from other programs, including the NFL. Um, it is an interesting PR move. I think that's what's most interesting to me. Kevin Wilson had allegations of player mistreatment while he was at Indiana. Greg Schiano was on the Penn State staff um, during the entire Sandusky era. It's not during the entire Sandusky era, but for part of it, was not interviewed by the free report. And they ultimately choose Day, who has no coaching experience. Um, I don't think that the PR thing was necessarily all the reason they did it, but it certainly played a factor. And I think Ryan Day does have the title associate head coach, but titles really aren't necessarily meaningful at this point. Urban Meyer going forward, do we see Urban Meyer coaching Ohio State again? It's a million dollar question. I think it really depends on how long this investigation takes. If they find that he willingly lied to everyone last week in Chicago, I don't think there's any way you can make him a coach on September 1st when play Oregon State. If they find that he bungled this very badly and didn't know, sincerely didn't know, I think a suspension's likely and I think he comes back. Jim Tressel was fired as Ohio State's head coach. Earl Bruce was fired. John Cooper was fired. Woody Hayes was fired. If my Buckeye history is correct, the last Buckeye coach not to be fired was Paul Brown, and he left because of World War II.